Animations for widgets and also pages is pretty easy in Flutter and we will look here at the shared axis transition animation with which you can do transitions on the X coordinate, on the Y coordinate or also scale animations. And other animations which you can achieve is for example here this horizontal animation for a whole page. You can also create here this zoom animation like you can see. So they are like different variants. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started here with a simple page and also a second page. So we have here two pages and two buttons with which we can go between them. And what is happening here internally is that we have a flag which is called is first page. And depending on this flag, we show then a first page or a second page, which are like two widgets. So it's not like the whole page because the top part is not changing. And inside of these pages, we have some cards. They are only different ordered for each page. And every time if you click here on one of these buttons, then we simply toggle here this Boolean flag and show then the other page. If we toggle here our pages and then go to another page, you see immediately the next page. So there is no animation and that's what we want to change. To integrate the transition, I simply go to the card section, which is here this upper part above our buttons, because here below we have some buttons to change between the pages. And here within this method build cards, we have then first page and second page. And we wrap it here inside of a page transition switcher. And here inside you can first of all set the duration, how long it should take to animate from one page to another page or from one widget to another widget in this case. And secondly, you need to set here a transition builder. And with this one, you can define how this animation should look like. And here we basically get from this transition builder, the child, which is here this child, which we have defined an animation and also secondary animation. And now we can create here this shared axis transition because we want to have here an animation on the X coordinate, on the Y coordinate or scaled animation. And therefore you simply put here all the properties inside the child, the animation and the secondary animation, which you get here from this transition builder. And after it, you can simply define here the transition type. And we want to start here with a horizontal animation. So it should go from the left side to the right side or vice versa. And to make use of the shared axis transition animation, you need to go to your PubSpec JAML file. And here inside, you need to put this animations plugin under your dependencies inside. And now we can try this shared axis transition out. So I click here on this button and you see we have here this animation. And if I click on the back button, then it's going back this animation. And like you notice, if I click here on this next button, then the animation goes here to the left side. However, if you don't like this, you also have this flag reverse and then you can basically do the animation to the other direction. Let's also try it out. So I click here on next and you see he is going to the right side this time. And the back animation is then also going into this right side direction. And what you could do now is to simply put this is first page flag here inside so that we have not every time the animation to the right side. So we have one time to the right side and one time to the left side. If you click here on the next button and the back button. So initially we have here this is first page to true and then also it is reverse this animation. So let's check it out. I click here on next and then it is going here to the left side. And now the is first page flag is set to false and the reverse animation is also set to false. And if I go here back, then we have the other animation into the other direction. And you also can do here more customizations instead of doing the animation on the horizontal axis, you can also do it on the vertical axis. And now if I click here on next, then you see that it is going here up. And if I go here on back, then it's going again down. And lastly, you also can set here this transition type to scaled. And now if I click here on next, you see we are scaling here this up. And again, if I click on back, then we have this animation here. And by the way, if you want to get here the whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a more efficient and better developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!